So a lot of people, you know, use social media. So most people know that you need to be on social media, but let's just kind of dig a little bit deeper into why social media. You know, you can skip caring about your own social media or put it off or procrastinate, but do it at your own peril. I mean, it is just so important to be on social media, but why? You know, if your competitors aren't on social media right now, they will be any minute. And I wanna help businesses get ahead of the competition. So more and more people continue to make purchasing decisions based on social media. Sprout Social just came out with another report on how many people are making, not just looking at social media, not just looking up a business, but actually making a decision to buy or hire based on what they've seen on social media. Three in five small business owners say that they get new customers using it. So, and that's small business owners, that's you and me. Those are people who are too busy and very, very tight with their budget. And of 81% of the US adults online, 71% use Facebook. So if you don't do anything else, be relevant on Facebook. And that's a really good place to start. So if you're not doing anything yet, then at least go on to Facebook. So how can social media help business? I mean, I've got you convinced, people use it, people look at it, but, but how does it directly help your business? And here are just a few of the ways that it directly helps you. It does increase website traffic. It generates leads at a minimal cost. Um, you look at your other costs of marketing um, and more traditional ways of marketing, and this uh, social media is a very inexpensive solution that is highly effective. It boosts your content marketing, so what you have on your website, it boosts that. It increases your brand awareness. It legitimizes your brand because people are seeing you there and you know, you're a thought leader all of a sudden. You have ideas that they wanna listen to, that they wanna read. Um, it also increases sales. I can't tell you how many leads um, my customers have gotten directly from uh, social media. I mean, actually I can, but um, it's impressive uh, the amount of sales that they're getting. It also gives you great audience insight. So you're getting to know the people who are following you and considering your brand or using your brand. It also improves brand loyalty. More and more people actually communicate with companies through social media outlets um, like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and others. So when should you post on social media? If we are posting for you, we actually um, manage this, but if you're doing it on your own, just kind of pick a starting point and test it and adjust it, check your analytics. Um, that's what we do. And we also have a software that determines the best time based on your audience. So how often, for our standard small business clients, we post five times per week per brand to keep the cost down. Uh, and we post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. However, if you want a huge, robust, this is absolutely the best way to do it. The optimum on Facebook is two to three times a day. Twitter is five to six times a day, which might sound surprising, but it's, it's absolutely true. Everything that I've read and actually seen with my own posting just points at the fact that that is absolutely true. LinkedIn, probably four to five times a week. So um, we're right on, on point with that. Where is the best place for your brand on social media? You know, at the very minimum, be on Facebook. But there are a lot of other great platforms to consider, like LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Google+, fine, and even Snapchat. So, and um, you know, there are new ones that come on board every once in a while, but right now these are mainstream. Our, for our clients, the, we post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+, but we do have add-ons where we can, if we determine that there's another platform that you should be on, um, we do have add-ons to uh, develop a campaign on another platform. So what do we post about? Some topics are, one is you want to post great information for your target market. You want to post your absolutely best stuff. So another thing is how to uh, give details on how people can do things. And you always want to be looking at issues that 
that people are facing. So you want to consider your prospects and your clients and your past clients and what is it that their issues are right now and how can you give them information to meet those issues and those needs that they have. Um, and also use words that focus on the results. So if they have an issue, this is what your idea is to meet the need of that issue. What is the result? And having that in your social media is super effective. Also keep it kind of conversational, but especially keep it in kind of language native to the platform. So if you're on Facebook and you're putting posts up there, you wanna make sure that your posts look like they belong there. Also posting questions is a very, very good uh, way to bring in uh, comments and get shares and things like that. Also hot topics. If you can be just edgy enough to get someone's attention, but not be off brand, that is ideal. Uh, if you ask a question that you know everyone's just gonna like spaz out about, then you, you've got a really good um, topic, especially if you ask a question about it. You, you, if you use five and six, if you use both of those together, that's um, even better. And so if you're looking at, if you have multiple locations and you're looking at um, having a social media strategy across various locations and brands, you'd wanna develop a campaign for each location or each brand. And some things to bring in, um, one is testimonials from clients in that area. Also videos, images, um, things that could go viral, kind of weird stuff that we find, uh, gifts, a picture of a tech or a, a customer rep with a client um, or with the gift going, oh, we love our clients, we love our customers or other things, just stories that kind of personalize it. It's really easy to get into the trap of just posting things that are informational. You really want to bring a human aspect to it. It will, one, really stand out and two, it really connects your company with people who are reading about you. Also stories of how your services save the day. So if you know if you have like let's say you have um, a security system installed and a, uh, and a, a customer shares with you you know hey you know I, I in fact I heard this exact story hey I got robbed and he calls the uh, the security system tech and the and the tech's like oh I'm so sorry and then the person calling is like no it's great because you installed that camera and the cops were called they found the guy and and it all worked out really good I got my stuff back so I mean things like that you want to share those stories and you want to share it in a way again that connects the audience so where can we find information to post. One, we always use top level sources or quotes um, and, and then quote it and have a link or a credit to that source. Sometimes we'll use secondary sources, but typically that's only when they have uh, reference to a top level source um, and they've been able to condense information from that top level source in a way that is packaged a lot more um, consumable by by visitors. Another source, and this is actually my favorite, is when your blog is kept up to date and you're able to post these great tips that you've been updating on your website. Also, staff submissions. Um, you know, I love those posts about you know, hey, it's so and so's birthday, and there's a picture of that person, and they're at their desk or they're at lunch with their coworkers or something like that, or some other update that really uh, connects the, the viewer with the staff. So that, in a nutshell, is what we do and how we do it and why it's really important to do. So please do get in touch.